Arc and angle measures. Intersecting chords, secants, and tangents. Interior intersections. If two secants or chords intersect inside of a circle, then the measure of the angle formed is equal to half the sum of the measures of the intercepted arcs. So for example, angle number one, if we wanted to calculate that, its intercepted arcs are the, I call them the corresponding arcs. So AD is a corresponding arc on the left, but also BC is a corresponding arc on the right. And measure of angle one is equal to its vertical angle, which is this one directly across from it. So the measure of angle one is one half the measure of AD, the left corresponding arc, plus the measure of BC, which is that right corresponding arc. Same thing for measure of angle number two, so AB is corresponding and DC is corresponding and it's half of those added together. So half of the measure of AB, that's the top arc, plus the measure of DC, which is that bottom arc. So let's give it a try. So what's the measure of AED? AED right here, this angle. So this angle is half the sum of its corresponding arcs, and we have both of them. So it's going to be 1 half 45 plus 109, which is going to be a half 45 plus 109 is 154, and a half of 154 is 77 degrees. The measure of STR, STR, which is this angle right here, it's corresponding arcs, 112, 186, so one half of 186 plus 112, a half of 298, which is 149 degrees. The measure of YWX, YWX is this angle measure. I don't have its corresponding arcs, but we do have these corresponding arcs, which means that we could get the measure of this angle. And those two angles together are 180 degrees. So if we can find this angle measure, we can subtract from 180 degrees and calculate our final answer. So let's calculate the measure of XWZ, which is gonna be 1 half of 43 plus 81 which is a half of 124, which is 62 degrees. So that means that this angle is 62 degrees. And those two angles together are 180. So 180 minus 62 degrees leaves me with 118 degrees. The measure of arc LK. So LK corresponds to 74, and we also have its interior intersection angle measure. So let's set up what we have and what we're missing. So we know that the final angle measure is 62 degrees, is one half of the measure of the two arcs. So this guy I'm going to call X, and we could say X plus 74. Then we can multiply both sides by two to cancel the one half. So 124 equals X plus 74 minus 74. So X equals 50 degrees. All right, the measure of CDE. So that's this big major arc here, CDE. Again, I know the interior angle and its corresponding piece. I don't know this X. So we can say 128 equals 1 half 73 plus X, or X plus 73 either way. Multiply both sides by 2. 256 equals 73 plus X minus 73. So X equals 183 degrees. QT, so QT again is X. So then we've got um, 95, but we don't know this angle measure here. So 180 minus 79 
gives us 101 degrees here. So we can say 101 degrees is a half of 95 plus x, which is going to be 202 equals 95 plus x minus 95, x equals 107 degrees. <clears throat> All right, what happens when the intersection's not on the inside of the circle, but it's happening on the circle? If a secant and a tangent intersect at a point of tangency, then the measure of each angle formed is equal to half the measure of its intercepted arc. So that's uh, the intercepted arc is the one that's on the inside of that angle. So angle two corresponds to BCA and angle one corresponds to BA. So if we wanna find the measure of angle one, we would take the half of the measure of BA. And then if I wanted the measure of angle two, we would wanna do the half of the BCA. So let's try it on. We wanna know what's the measure of DEG. DEG, which corresponds to uh, 308 degrees. So we can take half of 308, which is 154 degrees. DBC, DBC, which is this angle here, which corresponds to this arc, which I don't know the measure of this, but I do know the other half of the circle is 192. So if we do 360 minus 192, we know that this angle or this arc is 168. And then we can take a half of that. So a half of 168 is 84 degrees. The measure of xy, so this little guy right here, I know the interior angle of its um, next door neighbor is 151. So we know that if this is 151, then this arc piece here is gonna be double that measure, which is gonna be 302. And then if we want to find the measure of x here, you know, we want this piece, we can say uh, the, then we can use our knowledge. Oh, we want the arc measure though. <clears throat> so you could use um, 180 degree knowledge, but anyways, so we've got our two times 152, which is 308, and then we can um, subtract that from, I'm sorry, I'm saying it wrong, is 58 degrees. Because if this is 151, 180 minus 151 is 29 degrees here. And then 29 times two is 58 degrees. So we didn't really need the 302, but you could work that direction. All right, let's take a look at exterior intersections. Exterior intersections um, can either have two lines can, going through the circle, one line tangent and one line through, or two lines tangent are the three scenarios. If secants and or tangents intersect on the exterior of the circle, so that is point A on all of these diagrams, then the measure of the angle formed is equal to half the difference, which is different than the ones we were just doing, of the intercepted arc. So when it's on the inside, just comparing, let's look at the pictures here for a second, just comparing the two pictures, this intersection is happen happening on the interior of the circle and this intersection is happening on the exterior of the circle. That's the difference there. So interior is sum and exterior is subtraction. Difference means subtraction. All right, so just writing the statements that go with each of these. If we want the measure of angle A, its corresponding arcs would be B, D, and C, E, and we subtract those. You always do the bigger one minus the smaller one. 
So one half the measure of CE minus the measure of BD. Same thing here, big minus the small, so we would do one half BD minus BC. Still big minus the small, it's just a major arc instead of a minor, so one half the measure of BDC minus BC. So let's try it on. KLM, so big minus, half the big minus the small, 140 minus 66, which is a half of 74, which is 37 degrees. ABC, so here's our interior, small, but I don't have my exterior, so all we need to do is add those together and subtract from 360. So 88 plus 62 minus 360 leaves me with 210 degrees here. So then one half the big, which is 210 now, minus the small, which is 62, a half of 148, which is 74 degrees. PQR. I know that this big major arc is 313, but I don't know this little bitty arc here, and that's a piece of 360. So 360 minus 313 is 47. So then a half of 313 minus 47, which is going to be a half of 266, which is going to be 133 degrees. B, C, D, this little guy here. I know that uh, big one, but not the small one. But I can also see that this is a diameter. So I know that these three arc pieces together will make 180 degrees. So 67 plus 94 minus 180 is 19 degrees in there, that little small one. So then now one half the big minus the small, 67 minus 19. A half of 48, which is 24 degrees. All right, the measure of arc SW. So again, I know the interior angle, the small P arc, but not the large one. So I'm going to call that X. So 40, the interior angle, equals 1 half the big minus the small, multiply both sides by 2, 80 equals x minus 75, add 75 and x equals 155. QU, again, this is x, <clears throat> so 35 equals 1 half x minus 46. Multiply by 2, 70 equals x minus 46, x equals 116. The measure of mk, so that's the smaller one, so it's just going to be set up backwards. So we've got 56 equals 1 half. But big minus the small, so 160 minus x. Multiply by 2, 112 equals 160 minus x. Minus 160 is negative 48 equals negative x. Divide by negative 1, and x equals 48. EF. So again, that's this little, oh, no, but EF is this piece, I'm sorry. That's the piece we're looking for. Um, so what we can do first is that we can call this Y, and we can calculate this interior piece uh, first. So 77 equals 1 half of big minus the small, 191 minus Y. 
Multiply by 2, 154 equals 191 minus y minus 191 is negative 37 equals negative y. So y equals 37. So this is 37. Whoops, I should say equals 37. 37 degrees. And if this is 37 degrees, this is 191, we can calculate this missing chunk of 360. So 191 plus 37 minus 360 leaves us with 132. Thank you.